Hey guys, I'm Anthony and welcome to After Van Life. Happy Sunday to you guys. I hope that all of you guys are doing your best to remain safe as I am doing for myself. So guys, whew, I have a couple of things that I would like to share with you guys today. Everything from work to some more clarifications because apparently there are still some misconceptions of my van life experience that I want to clear up once and for all. And I also have a new idea that I'm thinking about incorporating into my channel and I'm excited to run that by you guys to see what you guys think about that. So let's start off with some work. Uh, it started off Monday around 5 p.m. I got a call from one of my supervisors and he asked me if I would mind coming on day work for the remainder of the week. So I would miss Monday night work and I would start my work week on Tuesday. And he also wanted to know if I could work a 12-hour shift that week. So I said, yeah, okay, that'll be fine. So that was the big adjustment for last week. I went on day work, and I worked 12-hour shifts, and I was exhausted. <laughs> it took me longer than I thought it would take for me to, to make the adjustment <laughs> going back to day work for a few days and working 12-hour shifts. So... Mainly, it was all about work, going to sleep, eating, and that was it. So, I wasn't even really thinking about making a YouTube channel because I was just bummed out. Also, <laughs> we are now moving into overtime mode on the job. They have the entire department scheduled for 12-hour shifts next week. So all next week, I will be on 12-hour shifts. Uh, instead of me going to work at 11.30 p.m. at night, I will be going in at 7.30, doing an additional uh, four hours of work the entire week. So I'm doing my best today to just relax so that I can feel as rested as possible to get ready to tackle this whole full week of 12 hours. And, you know, making sure that I have my food together to, because, obviously, I need to take more food to work for a 12-hour shift than I do for a normal 8-hour shift. So, I'm kind of mentally and physically trying to prepare myself today uh, to tackle that 12-hour work week coming up. Uh, that's about it for work. Oh, one more thing about work. My job has stepped up and done another great thing, I think, that help us to stay safe on the job. They installed hand sanitizer dispensers on all the presses. At first they were just at the entrance of the building, but now we each have our own hand uh, sanitizers uh, on each of the presses, which I think is great because I'm always walking up to that thing and <laughs> cleaning my hands off. If it's not my hands, I'm, I'm even cleaning my gloves off. So. I definitely appreciate that move, that uh, gesture there from the job because it helps me to keep my hands and everything that much more cleaner more often on the job. Now I want to talk a little bit about um, some misconceptions that are still out there that based on some of the comments that I have been getting and I want to just clear this up. I did not hate van life. I see that word in the comment section more often than I care to see it. Uh, for some reason, uh, there are still a few people out there that think that I hated van life and van life was just a terrible experience for me. It was not a terrible experience for me at all. I did not hate van life. If you followed me back in the days when I was doing van life, you will not find one video that I was complaining about van life. I was always this happy-go-lucky person living a van life. I had ideas that I shared with you guys. I showed a lot of videos or a few videos of me cooking out of the back of the van. I mean, that is just not the type of videos that people, a person would put out that, that hates the lifestyle. You would, if I hated van life, you would have seen many, many videos of me complaining about it on almost every video, and you will not see that in my videos, you know. Most of the people, if not all, 
did not even know that I was going to end van life until I made that final video. So I did not hate van life. Uh, maybe it's the newcomers that joined my channel. I don't know. But for those of you who have followed me back when I was actually van dwelling, you can, you can attest to this that, you know, I don't have one video of me complaining about the van life, you know. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think that I did very well doing van life. I think I had it down to a T in Baltimore. Most of you know I stayed on that parking rod, and at that time I was working second shift, was, which was the perfect shift for van life because I got off at 11 o'clock at night. I came back to the parking ride. I went to sleep. I woke up the next morning, went to the library. Then I went in to the gym, got my shower in. And by that time, it was time for me to go back to work at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I had it down to a T. The library was right there. The gym was two or three blocks up from the library. The Walmart was around the corner. The grocery store, the mall. It was the perfect setup for me. And if you were, uh, once again, following me back during those times, you knew that one of the biggest things for me in van life is convenience. You know, routine and convenience, which made my van life experience much easier than a lot of others, you know. So, let's clear the air. I did not hate van life. I, I did it very well. Uh, one more thing I would like to say about that, be because um, there was a mentioning that once I transitioned from Lancaster to where I am now to start my new job, and I spent some time in a hotel, that was mentioned. Well, the first two weeks I did stay in my van, but the second two weeks when I moved into went to the hotel, it was because. I had to go back to Lancaster and get everything out of my apartment at that time and put in my van. So the last two weeks, I had a whole apartment full of stuff in my van. So it was no room and it became uncomfortable. And that's the main reason why I went from the van to the hotel those last two weeks. I had everything in my apartment in my van. So the little bit of space that I did have was taken up by that. So... I went into the hotel. So, I hope that this clears everything up for everybody and for the few of you that still had the conception that I hated van life, I did not hate van life, I think I did van life very well. Uh, I had a good idea of how I wanted to do it. I was for certain that, you know, for me to be able to do this, I had to, it had to be uh, a life of convenience for me, and I did it well. And those of you who follow me, you knew that I did the van life pretty good. So, no, I did not hate van life, okay? All right, so I hope that, once again, that that clears it up for those of you, the few of you out there who uh, thought that I hated van life. I did not. All right, so... Now I want to talk about this idea that I have that I want to run past you guys and see what you guys think about this. Um, I'm actually thinking about starting a weekend series on my channel, a weekend van dwelling series. Um, even though I am not full-time van dwelling and even though at this moment, I want to say that again, at this moment, I am seriously, seriously considering uh, going back into the van life. I thought that it would be fun to maybe think about a weekend series where I would just go out, pack up some things in my uh, car, and maybe go to a park or something, or just be out there in um, the urban lifestyle uh, van dwelling. Um, I think it will be fun. I think it will ease me back into the van life if um, that's going to be my final decision back when my apartment. Oh, and let me just uh, state this as well. When I made that video, it appeared that 
based on the comments, a lot of you acted or reacted as though I was going to move into my car like tomorrow or, or something. Um, my lease for my apartment is not up until September. Nothing is going to take place prior to September, if anything is going to take place. So I just want you guys to know that, you know, nothing is going to happen. So moving back into the idea of van dwelling, I also thought a uh, weekend van dwelling. I think, I think that this is a good idea because if I actually do go back into full-time van dwelling, this will help me to ease back into it, to, you know, get some more feel and vibe of what it's like to be back in my vehicle. And even if it turns out that I don't go back into van dwelling full-time, it's also something that I can continue to have on my stage, on my channel. And, you know, hopefully that will improve uh, the viewers of my channel. I know that, you know, my channel started out as a full-time van dwelling channel. And I think many of you may miss my van dwelling days. And I think this could be a a good compromise and to giving you guys some of the van life from me on the weekends now the only thing about that idea is that I don't know how well it will match with my job the summertime is the most busiest time on my job it's going to be a lot of weekend work and I don't know how many weekends that I'm going to have available to make this happen um, I could just, even if I'm working on the weekend, I could just, you know, incorporate the weekend van dwelling at, into my work and just not come back to the apartment for uh, two days, I mean, and still go to work, go to shower and that kind of thing. But it's a thought and it's, it's something that ran across my mind and I thought that I would run it past you guys to see what you think about the idea of me starting a weekend van dwelling series on my channel all right guys that's going to wrap it up for today's video once again um i just wanted to check in with you guys and bring you up to date what's been going on not a whole lot with me this uh week past just working and sleeping and it's going to be pretty much a lot of that going on this week i am going to make an effort to try to get at least one or two videos out this upcoming week but I can't promise you that because of my work schedule. All right, guys. Uh, as always, thank you guys for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys. You know that. And I'll see you guys the next time.